Are you curious about living in Tacoma, Washington? From the shopping, the restaurants, the schools, and the housing market, this video has you covered. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Gus Montgomery, and today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about Tacoma, Washington. So follow me and my laptop for a Google Map tour. All right, welcome back to my laptop. Here we are for the Google Map tour in Tacoma, Washington. So Tacoma, Washington is located in Pierce County. It's the second largest population among the Puget Sound. And it's the third largest population in the state of Washington. If we look at the proximity from Seattle to Tacoma, Tacoma is south of Seattle, Washington. If we look at how long it would take you to drive from Tacoma to Seattle, let's look without traffic. It'll be about a 35 to 40 minute drive from Tacoma to Seattle. Now, if you are planning on living in Tacoma, Washington, and commuting to Seattle for work, this is the amount of time without traffic. But there's usually traffic, but there's always traffic. <laughs> when you drive from Tacoma to Seattle, especially in the early morning. So let's say you are leaving Tacoma at 6.30 a.m. for that morning commute to work. Your commute to Seattle will range from 50 minutes to an hour and 50 minutes. That is a pretty long commute. Most of the traffic is going northbound towards Seattle. So if you are planning on living in Tacoma and commuting to Seattle for work, plan accordingly with your commute. Tacoma is also home of the University of Washington Tacoma campus. So the University of Washington is a very prestigious university in Washington State. And the main campus is located in Seattle, but you do have a campus, University of Washington Tacoma as well. So it's really cool that you have such a prestigious campus located right in the city of Tacoma. Another thing to know about Tacoma is located really closely to the GBLM, which is a joint base Lewis McCord military base. Uh, fun fact, I was actually born on the GBLM site. My dad was serving in the army for 20 years, so I am a military baby. Shout out to the military and all that serve in our country. But you do have the GBLM base just south of Tacoma. So just know that there is a heavy military presence by Tacoma, Washington. If we also look at the proximity from Tacoma to the SeaTac International Airport for all your flights without traffic, it's about 26 to 30 minute drive. So for all your out-of-state flights, international flights, the SeaTac International Airport is about 26 to 30 minute drive. All right, next up, let's talk about shopping in Tacoma, Washington. The first thing I wanted to mention is the Tacoma Mall. Tacoma Mall has about 150 stores and restaurants. It features stores such as Nordstrom, Lululemon, Apple, Forever 21, Build a Bear. It has dining options such as BJ's Brewhouse, Cheesecake Factory, LML, Hawaiian Barbecue, Panera Bread. It's a really good sized mall, has a lot of different stores and restaurants. So, definitely had to highlight the Tacoma Mall as far as one of your shopping options in Tacoma. Now, if you're a fan of antique, boutique type shops, definitely wanna highlight Antique Row. So Antique Row is a unique standout in downtown Tacoma and is on the section of Broadway. And this is known as Antique Row, as a half a dozen sprawling, multi-level antique stores that line the street. One of the stores is Sanford and Son Antiques. So very expansive antique shop. 
that is a pillar in the downtown Tacoma community. They have other stores as well, like Sabor, Special Vintage, the Tacoma Consignment, and Lily Pad Antiques. But I just wanted to highlight one of the stores on Antique Row, right there on Broadway. All right, another area of Tacoma that has some boutique shops is the Proctor District in Tacoma, Washington. So it's a business district in the north end of Tacoma. Has a really nice small retail core where storefronts offer locally made and handcrafted goods, trendy boutiques, and co-assignment shops. One place I want to mention is the Pacific Northwest Shop, which has a lot of specialty foods, t-shirts, souvenirs, and gifts from the state and other states nearby. So Proctor District is another great area. So I definitely want to highlight the Pacific Northwest shop. One of the great things about the Proctor District is you won't find a lot of chain stores, which gives it that charm that you look for in the city of Tacoma. So definitely check out the Proctor District. All right, next up, let's talk about the restaurants in Tacoma, Washington. A lot of great options. One place I want to highlight first is a place that I've been going to since I was a little kid. Uh, I used to live uh, right by Tacoma in a city called Lakewood. Uh, but when we moved away, my dad would still take me to this place right here, the Southern Kitchen, because we just needed to get our Southern food fix. So the Southern Kitchen is a soul food restaurant it's been around for a while very historic in the Tacoma area you will not be disappointed by this soul food restaurant so definitely want to highlight southern kitchen all right next i wanted to highlight duke's seafood but duke's seafood you can't go wrong amazing seafood which is what the pacific northwest is known for with the beautiful view of the water can't go wrong fish and chips amazing clam chowder amazing among other things as well so definitely check out duke's seafood in ruston i also want to highlight asado which is an argentinian restaurant so not a lot of argentinian restaurants in the area so definitely want to highlight this amazing gem located in Tacoma. if you're looking for amazing breakfast with hearty portions check out elmer's restaurant really highly rated a local legend in the Tacoma scene. Breakfast, brunch, definitely cannot go wrong. Our last restaurant I want to highlight is a Primo Grill restaurant, which is Italian food, a colorful eatery with an open kitchen and Mediterranean steaks. So if you are a fan of the Italian cuisine, definitely give Primo Grill restaurant, a look. All right, next up are things to do in Tacoma. There's a lot of great options, but the first thing I want to highlight is the Ruston Way waterfront. So the Ruston Way waterfront connects downtown Tacoma to Point Defiance. It's a two mile stretch of paved walking trail and scenic views of the South Puget Sound. And one of the cool things about this area is a lot of great restaurants to eat at is a hotel located right next to the water. So on a spring, summer day, as you can see in the pic, it's very festive. A lot of people like to take advantage of that water view front by walking with your family and friends. So one great things about living in Tacoma is you get a lot of big name attractions to the Tacoma Dome, from comedians to musical artists to sporting events, Tacoma has a lot of great events that happen. I've been there many times. So the fact that you live in a city that you'll have big name attractions perform at, that is a great thing to have located in your city. So as we're looking through the photos of the Tacoma Dome, a variety of different attractions take place in this amazing venue. Another great thing about Tacoma is the Point Defiance zoo and aquarium with nearly 300 species including tigers and the landmark red wolf habitat 
So there is a zoo in Seattle, but you don't have to go all the way to Seattle to go to the zoo. Point of Finds, well known in the state of Washington. So if you have family, friends, or you yourself want to check out the amazing species located in the aquarium and zoo, you have one right in Tacoma at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium. Another great historical option is the Museum of the Glass. Diverse indoor and outdoor glass art exhibit plus a cone-shaped studio with working artists. So if you look at things to do in Tacoma, one of the first things, if it's not the number one thing, it's going to be top three, is the Museum of Glass. There's nothing quite like this in the state of Washington. So if you're living in Tacoma, you get to take advantage of something like this on a consistent basis. Lastly, on the things to do, I want to highlight La May America's Car Museum. There's a lot of historical attractions in the city of Tacoma, which makes it so great. And this is one of them, a four-story museum on an eight-acre campus, display cars, trucks, and motorcycles. So if you are a fan of the automotive industry, Tacoma might be the place for you. All right, let's transition and talk about the public school system and Tacoma. So in the city of Tacoma, the public school is called Tacoma Public Schools. So Tacoma is comprised of 35 elementary schools, 11 middle schools, 10 high schools, and four early learning centers. It's the third largest school district in Washington state. So one thing I like to do is look at the high schools in Tacoma to give you an idea of the facilities in this school district. Now there's a lot of high schools, so I am going to focus on the bigger high schools in the district. Let's start with Lincoln High School. So I actually played basketball, not for Lincoln High School, but there was basketball tournaments um, at Lincoln High School that I got the pleasure of being a part of. So I'm very familiar with Lincoln High School. I just see aerial shot of the campus and football field. All right, next high school, let's look at Mount Tahoma High School. So we're looking at the football facilities at Mount Tahoma High School. All right, next up, let's look at Silas High School. Wow, really good view right there. Our last high school we're going to look at in the Coleman Public Schools is Stadium High School. Now, Stadium High School is a historic place because there's been movies filmed at Stadium High School. The most popular movie was 10 Things I Hate About You. So if you watch that movie, you might recognize this Photo right here because that was the historical scene. Ten things I hate about you, but yeah, great view of the field right on the water. Great looking campus. All right, next up, let's talk about the housing market in Tacoma, Washington. So we're looking at the median home prices for a single family home in Tacoma, Washington. The single family median home price in Tacoma is four hundred and fifty five thousand dollars for condos it's three hundred and eighty five thousand dollars now if we compare those median prices to the city of seattle for a single family home the median home price in seattle is eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars for condos it's five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so one of the great things about the city of tacoma is this affordability in comparison to Seattle. And as you can see, there's about a $400,000 difference in median home prices for a single family home in Seattle versus Tacoma. Let's also look at the median home prices for Renton, which is another city south of Seattle that's really popular for people who want to commute to work. For Renton, the single family median home price is $760,000. For condos, it's $357,000. So the condo actually is a little bit lower in Renton than Tacoma, 
as far as median prices, but for a single family home, it is about a $300,000 difference. So it's one of the reasons why Tacoma is becoming a more and more popular place to live because of the affordability comparison to Seattle and Renton. And also based off the stuff that we looked in the video, there's a lot of great options when you're living in the city of Tacoma. But yeah, that was just give you an idea of the housing market in Tacoma, Washington. All right, that is it for the Google map tour of Tacoma, Washington. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Tacoma with me. If you value this content, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll continue to provide more value going forward. Until next time, take care.